Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Thanks uh, for the introduction, Matt. A question that I often wonder is, what is that group? Um, there have been many references and models that have kind of influenced us in terms of how we um, established ourselves as a studio. And th that kind of first reference um, I discovered as a teenager growing up in Southern California. Um, growing up to Swiss and American parents, uh, we had uh, family friends that had also emigrated to California. And one of those families was an older couple that had a house that was very kind of unlike ours. It was a kind of glass and, and wooden box. And they mainly had really great books. Uh, and one day when I was at their house, they uh, introduced me to the work of a friend of theirs um, that settled in that town around the same time called Herbert. And as a teenager, the name Herbert Beyer uh, didn't mean anything to me. Um, but I later discovered that he trained at the Bauhaus and later became the director of printing and advertising. And his work was really fascinating to me because it managed to, manages to kind of meld um, graphic design, architecture, and art in ways that I kind of hadn't um, seen before and, and didn't know was possible. Um, the expansiveness of that practice uh, was kind of influential to uh, how we um, kind of set up Zach Group. So tonight I'll try to give a few kind of quick answers to the question of what is Zach Group. First of all, Zach Group is an office. Um, we call ourselves an office because anything can happen in an office. Um, we're not a graphic design studio or an agency or a consultancy, but rather an office where work is done and value is created. So the office is a physical space uh, where we work with people that we see as guiding the trajectory of contemporary culture, um, but it's also a place where a group of people can come together to, to work. And we really believe that uh, kind of good design is the result of a group of people working together, um, and that that can be even greater than the individuals that compose it. Um, what that means physically is that, you know, the office is a space with shelves, a desk, a good coffee machine, um, but it's also a network space for collaboration. Zach Group is also an idea. Um, as an office, we're the sum of all of our ideas. And recently we were invited to design a poster for the Welt Format uh, Graphic Design Festival in Switzerland. And for that poster, we wrote a 10-point manifesto um, that articulates some of the uh, kind of underlying methodologies behind our work. We invited uh, the artist uh, Jim Joe to um, collaborate with us on this poster. Jim Joe, uh, his work deals with language and writing and graffiti, um, and we gave uh, the, you know, this invitation to Jim Joe, who had given uh, a lecture himself called Explanations Mean Nothing, um, which was a kind of manifesto, so we felt that we were on the same uh, wavelength as him. One of the points of our manifesto is called Game the System, and that refers to working within constraints to force uh, unexpected outcomes. And this was then adjusted by Jim Joe to read uh, Game the Symbol. So Jim used uh, TipX to kind of erase some of our letters and create new rules by adding uh, drawn letters and, and generate new meanings. Um, and so this really, to me, also kind of sums up the work of a, of a graphic designer, which is to work with other people's uh, words and images and to create new meaning. Uh, Zach Group is also a platform. <clears throat> As a design office, we see ourselves um, as a platform uh, that exists to create opportunities where they might not exist. And this can really take many different forms, and we see it as kind of our responsibility uh, to initiate them. Um, one of the things that we recognize is that our industry uh, needs to expand opportunities for communities that are um, currently underrepresented in our industry. And in partnership with Central St. Martins, we launched a scholarship called the Future Forward Scholarship to improve access to design education. 
Uh, Future Forward provides full maintenance and support for a BA graphic design communication student for the three-year period of their degree. And we're super excited to have awarded the first um, recipient this year, and we hope to continue the scholarship next year. So if anyone here runs a studio, uh, you support our agenda, uh, please get in touch. Zach Group is also a t-shirt. We're also the things that we make and wear. Um, as we were entering the first lockdown uh, last year, uh, we noticed that cultural projects, which are always the kind of the first to be um, cut in terms of budgets, uh, were starting to be canceled. And we created a campaign called Culture is Not Canceled that was a way for us to urge uh, commissioners to not cancel culture. And the work that everyone in this room does is, is extremely urgent and important, and that work is essentially to create culture. Um, and culture is what kind of gives meaning to, to our world. So, um, you know, if, this is, if culture is what defines us, it's really something that uh, we must take care not to let get canceled. So, kind of two years later, I think this message is still extremely relevant. Um, we recently released an edition of T-shirts um, for Cultures Not Cancelled that uh, support pioneering cultural institutions. So the first run was done uh, with Chisholm Hale Gallery, which is just uh, down the road from where we are tonight. Um, so purchases of this t-shirt support, um, I think, one of London's most interesting and important emerging um, contemporary art centers. Um, Zach Group is also an art school. Uh, earlier this year, NTS Radio reached out to us to invite us to um, create a guest episode that we called Zach Group Art School. Uh, and as a studio, we work with uh, writers that make architecture, architects that make art, and artists that make music. So we were interested in the idea to uh, create a radio show uh, of artists that make music. <laughs> So we included a few different artists that we have worked with and that we know personally, such as Anna Imhoff. This is her record, uh, Faust. And the later record, Sex. It was also an opportunity for us to include artists that we'd never met, but uh, would have loved to. Bang, bang. One of those is Each Martin Kippenberger, bang, bang. I hit the ground, bang, bang. who for a short time had a band bang, called bang, The Alma Band. My baby shot me down. And then for the, the vocal introduction of the radio show, Season we invited a collaborator of ours, Hans Ulrich Obrist, to do the intro. The Art School by Zach Group on NTS Radio. We're on NTS Radio. Hello, everyone. You're on NTS Radio, and you're listening to Art School by Zach Group. Zach Group is a fact. Our interest in the intersection of art and music that was the subject of Zach Group Art School uh, led us to design the relaunched Fact magazine. There were a few references that uh, formed our kind of point of departure. Um, one of those was uh, EAT, which is um, Experiments in Art and Technology, which was a kind of late 1960s um, kind of nonprofit that married engineering and art. Um, and th that kind of w was, our, was our starting point to, to try to marry these disparate fields. The brief uh, for fact was how do you present uh, sound and moving image in print, which are formats that they're not necessarily suitable to. Um, and our approach was to think of the magazine as an exhibition in print. And uh, we were inspired by many earlier experiments. Um, and in creating the magazine, we started with the identity first. And we wanted with the identity to kind of marry the futuristic um, origins of music technology with a new wave of, of audio and visual art practices. So on one hand, uh, like early music technology, and on the other hand, we were interested in kind of earlier analog approaches that 
kind of um, uh, predated or anticipated uh, the digital. So we were interested in the work of Aldo Novarese at the Nebbiolo Foundation, um, who famously created Eurostyle based on microgamma in the early 1960s, and this was a type face that was very much analog, but was inspired by new forms such as like the cathode ray tube from which it borrows its uh, geometry. So it has this, uh, this kind of jet age and television-like quality to it. And so the logo that we eventually created um, has these extended letter forms and kind of contrasting counter spaces that are all fused together in a single graphic element. In working on the design of the magazine itself, we tried to create a very elastic visual language which um, responded to the different uh, kind of inputs from artists uh, that would be in the magazine. So we kind of uh, got rid of like hard and fast uh, style guides and rules but had a few kind of simple ingredients that we would allow to kind of coexist and create kind of clashes on the page. Um, these collisions resulted in kind of typographic um, compositions. And then also in a number of features, we tried to kind of directly address the idea of moving image. And uh, you can see that in spread such as Holly Blakely's, who is a choreographer. Uh, and here we tried to use the magazine's kind of built-in logic, which is sequential, it unfolds over time, to create a kind of temporal dimension to the contribution. So um, that can be th these kind of densely layered um, image layouts, or in the case of Cecilia Bengalea, uh, a kind of uh, a layered approach to the images. In other sections, we kind of gave complete carte blanche to, the, uh, to artists, um, such as Khalil Joseph, uh, who included his project Black News, and was given kind of complete autonomy to create a uh, so-called page work. And the term page work is, is a term borrowed from the curator Hamza Walker to describe artworks that are made for reproduction in books and magazines. So these are just a few other um, features. This is uh, Roman Gavras and Sirkin's film Generation. And issue two also coincides with an exhibition that's currently on view um, for the next few weeks, I believe, uh, at 180 The Strand called Lux. So this first issue contains uh, five different covers, Object Blue, uh, Gabriel Moses, Lux, Anais, and Curl, and it's, uh, it's out now. Thank you so much.